evening my diamond painting friends this is Susan and I am back with another drill with me <clears throat> I am still working on my custom of my puppy I'll show you a picture real quick um, since my last drill with me I did um, fill out quite a few more of the um, the dark area I finished the 939s and I did some more of the light area over here. Um, so my goal is to finish this tonight and maybe go ahead and move on to the next section. Um, I'm still wanting to get this done by the end of this week. This is Thursday night. Um, so I've got at least Friday night. I probably won't work on it too much because we're going out to a movie. So I'll have... Um, tonight and then Saturday and um, Sunday. I'm hoping to get done with it by then where I can get started on the Four Seasons tree. Get that started. And Sunday night I have a wrestling pay-per-view so I won't be able to work on it during that. Just making sure all my drills are laid down all the way. This isn't a popping issue, it's just to me not putting it in all the way. Um, I do have some um, get to know me questions, um, a tag. So I will be going through these questions right now. I've got, there was like 361 or 71 questions in total. I've only right now printed off 100. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them. Um, so... For the next few drill with me, um, I will have something to talk about. I got these kind of questions. I got all kinds of other questions that I found online that I thought would be really interesting to um, just to pursue, just to have a little bit of fun, uh, keep the conversation going. So, um, all right, let's get started. I am working on color 840. It is this kind of tan color here. Um, or light brown color. So, all right, let me start laying down some drills and we will get started with the the questions. You get to know me a little bit more. Um, hopefully, you'd want to. <laughs> I am. So, um, first of all, I would like to say uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I have, um, I've had a little bit of an influx over the last couple of days and it's been wonderful. I am seeing a lot more than I ever thought I would see. And, um, a lot of it is due to, um, to word of mouth. Um, I did watch a video with Wendy from Gone Off My Meds and she did mention me in her video, which I thought was just wonderful. Thank you so much for that shout out. And that means a lot to me because I really like your channel. And so, all right. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first question is, what is your full name? My full name is Susan Reed. Um, that is my married name. My maiden name is Geyer. Um, that is a German name. So... What does your name mean? I believe my name is a Hebrew name from what I have looked up in the past and I believe it means flower in Hebrew. If that is not correct, please let me know. Um, but I'm pretty sure that everything that I have read um, has been that uh, Susan means flower in Hebrew. Uh, so. I don't really do checkerboard very much unless it's a huge area. So, okay. Are you named after anyone? Not that I'm aware of. I do know that my middle name, which is Noreen, I did have an aunt um, named Noreen. Um, so I guess I was named after her, I guess. 
my dad named, um, picked out my name, so. Yeah. But as far as I know, nobody in my family is um, named Susan, so I'm the only one. <laughs> um, number four, does your name make any interesting anagrams? No. I don't believe so. I've never thought about it, tried it, nothing. So it just means Susan. So I love the way this sounds when it hit, when it gets on the chill field. Uh, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? If I had to change it, I would change it to mm, probably Martina. I like that name, Martina. She is Martina McBride. She's one of my favorite singers, so I guess that's why I would pick that. But no, I'm pretty... I've always been pretty satisfied with my first name, except for the fact that I do not like being called Sue. It is a very big pet peeve of mine. It is a big no-no. I will not answer to it. I will not respond. I will give you the <laughs> gates of hell look up <laughs> if you call me that. It's just... It's not a good thing. Never, ever. I hate it. I've always hated it. I don't know why. Um, it's just not ever been my, my cup of tea, I guess I should say. So, no. No, 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 no. So. Okay. Where are you from? I was born, I think I answered this in my last drill with me. I was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, 40 plus years ago. <laughs> um, I don't think we lived there long after that. Um, my sister that is a year younger than me, she was born in Little Rock. So um, I think we moved around a lot because me and my sisters, none of us was born in the same, same town. Um, so. I spent. My next question is, where did you grow up? Um, I spent. Um, from the time I remember, I was in Oklahoma. I spent from. We moved to Arkansas in 84. So right before I turned, I guess I was about 10 when we moved to Arkansas. So I spent my first 10 years um, in Oklahoma, mostly from what I remember in Tulsa. Um, a little bit of interesting tidbit about myself is that if you had ever seen the um, the Outsiders movie, the one with Patrick Swayze and Rob Lowe and Tom Cruise, and that was done back in the early 80s, the neighborhood that that movie takes place in, I eventually moved to. And the house that the main characters lived in, the Curtis brothers lived in, I lived in after they filmed that movie. So everything that is in that movie, I could basically tell you where it was because it was all in that one neighborhood just about. Um, so yeah, that's my little claim to fame. Um, then after we moved to um, Arkansas, I lived in Springdale until my uh, second half of my sixth grade year. Then we moved to Fayetteville and I stayed in Fayetteville until I graduated high school. 
and then after that we moved to a little town called Crosses. It's one of those little towns that you blink you're gonna miss it. I didn't stay there very long. I moved back to Fayetteville and mostly up until the time that I moved to Gentry to be with my boyfriend slash husband, I lived in Fayetteville. I've been, I've li I'm living in Gentry now. This is for um, be 19 years in July that I lived in Gentry. So I guess this is about the longest place I've ever lived. So, uh, nine, who did you look up to growing up? I looked up to my mom and my dad. I was a homebody my entire life. I um, I did everything with my mom and dad. It was I was I was I guess you could call me the little Miss Goody Two Shoes because I never did anything. I um, was not rebellious. Or anything like that so I, I I looked up to my mom and dad they were the my world so for the biggest part of my life um, what are your best characteristics hmm I think my best characteristics, I don't know. I, I would have to come back to that one because I don't know. Um, <laughs> sorry, I wanted to come back to that one. What are your favorite things about yourself? Um, my creativity, my, um, my uniqueness. I think I'm pretty unique. Um, a little on the weird side. I think I'm pretty, um, open. I have a tendency to wear my heart on my sleeves a little bit. That kind of gets me in trouble every once in a while. Um, my capacity to be loyal, I think. Um, you're a friend to me I'll be a friend to you I I don't break those bonds easily and unfortunately when they do get broken I I don't know how to repair them I don't have any friends left over from high school not that I really had any that I fully trusted anyway so, anyway, okay, that went a little bit dark. <laughs> uh, which of your parents are you closest to? Um, both of them, but I think mostly it was my mom. Um, I did everything with her. I, I, she was the only one that I could really talk to about anything and everything. Um, she didn't ever judge me for anything and she was just always there ready to lend an ear when I needed it um, so which of your parents are you more like I guess my mom again <laughs> so yeah I've already Okay. Are your grandparents still married? Well, 
they were married when they passed. I don't have any um, living grandparents. Um, they have all passed on. They were married to, they were not married to my parents' parents, if that may, makes any sense. My dad's dad was married to my dad's stepmom and my um, mom's mom was married to my stepdad to got um, married after the other one had passed away. I don't think there was ever like a divorce or anything. Um, but they were married when they passed. Um, so Uh, what relative was important to you growing up and why? Again, I have to say my mom. Uh, for reasons I've already mentioned. I don't want to keep dredging up to saying the same thing. Making it re like, a, like a broken record. Because then you'll probably turn off from me. So you're saying, okay, she needs to talk to some, something different. So let's move on the next question uh, what is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents mm. I can't think of anything the one thing that I had hidden from them was discovered not long after it happened um, the only thing that I never revealed to my dad, I eventually told my mom, and I guess that was like the one time ever that she didn't believe me, um, when I told her something, but I think that is for a not for something that I need to talk about on YouTube. So I will, I guess I'm a drills. So I will move on to the next question. <laughs> what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I do not know. Um, I know that I was supposed to have a big brother, but my mom lost him when she was seven months along. Um, his name would have been Scott, so I don't know if, if I had been a boy, if that would have, I'm sorry, if that would have been my name or not. So I've never asked them what they would have named me if I had been a boy. Um, so, um, what do you call your grandparents? Well, for my grandma was grandma, my grandpa, my grandma on my mom's side was grandma, my grandpa on my dad's side was grandpa. I did not know my mother's father, so all I knew was the person that my grandma had married, so he was Grandpa Charlie. Um, and the person that my my dad's stepmom, I only call her Grace. I I did not get along with her. She made it very clear early on that she did not like me. I'm not just saying that. Um, it's the truth. So. I did not really call her anything but Grace. That's all she was. She wasn't grandma to me. Um, when my grandpa passed away, um, I don't even think my dad had anything to do with her after that. So I never saw any reason to have anything to do with her. So I didn't. I was done. Um, my grandpa Charlie passed away when I was probably 19, 18 or 19 years old. And um, six months later, my grandma passed away. So 
it was a um, one-two shot. My Grandpa Charlie, my Grandma, my Grandpa all died um, within the nine months that I was pregnant with my first son, with my son. So. That went a little dark again, too, didn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. Get this one last drill, and I think I'm done with this color. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's one. There's one. I'm trying to trying to hopefully find them all so I don't have to go back and pull the number the numbers again so which if you remember from my last drill I have to do almost every time so and... And I don't see any fives. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. <sighs> what is your best physical feature? Mm. <sighs> Well, if you ask my husband, he'd probably give you the typical man quick answer. <laughs> um, but I personally don't think I have a very good physical feature anywhere. Um, I said I am um, trying to diet and lose some weight. Um, but my husband says my butt's getting smaller and... So, I, I don't know what my best physical feature would be. So, uh, what is your biggest accomplishment? Um, I'm going to be cliche here and say that um, having my children would be my biggest accomplishment. Um, I do feel like one of my biggest accomplishments is that I went through school and received my master's degree um so that was that was a pretty huge huge accomplishment so let me see 842 is what i'm going to be working on Ooh, where is it there you go so there's not very many of this color left so i think that's my biggest accomplishment besides my children um so yeah Again, pretty cliche. I don't think I have very many of these in this round. So, uh, what is your biggest fear? Um, dying, I guess. I used to be afraid um, that I would never make it to see my children graduate high school. That used to be a big fear of mine um, so my biggest fear is dying or being left being alone I don't want to be alone um, I don't like spiders um, I don't know if there's a question on here but I once got bitten by a brown recluse spider and didn't realize it until it was almost too late. And I spent almost a month in the hospital trying to recover from that. So spiders and I do not get along at all. Was that all the peas that I had? It was just like three or four? Don't you hate it when you put out a bunch of 
diamonds on your tray just to turn around and say, oh, well, you've only got one or two. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all I had. Uh, what is your biggest regret? <clears throat> My biggest regret was not being there when my both my mom and my dad passed away. Um, I was there the day before, um, but I had left. Um, and then just to turn around and get the call, um, in the middle of the night that they had passed. Um, that is my biggest regret, probably. Um, so, yeah, I can't take that back. work with this 918 and I think I've only got a few for this one so I am not going to pull out any I'm just going to work out of the out of the container I don't know if these questions go so dark. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more fun coming up here in a little bit. Um, uh, what is your eye color? Brown. Brown. Just brown. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Just the brown. So, yeah. Uh, what inspires you? My children inspire me. My husband inspires me. Um, getting the creative juices flowing. Um, yeah. I said, I'm, I'm a pretty boring, predictable person. <laughs> Hopefully you're still listening to me drone on. Um, okay. What is the most important thing in your life? Uh, my husband. My two children and my puppy. Those are the most important things in my life. Um, materialistically. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what I would do without any of those. I would probably... Um, I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for any of those. So, yeah. My husband, my children, and my puppy. So, they keep me sane. My puppy kept me very sane. Um, I got her the day before my mom passed away. And at the time, I was working a job where I was traveling a lot. So, she came with me a lot. And she, she pretty much kept me sane as I was driving. Um, cause I was able to, to be with her and not put my mind on my mom and get down and start thinking about regrets and everything. Um, so yeah, she's a pretty important part of my life. Uh, what has required the most courage of you in your life so far? Okay. I think that 
I'm going to pass on that question for now, just because there, um, there's something specific that I don't know if I'm ready to reveal completely. Um, so I am, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one. I'm sorry. Um, 27. Who is your favorite actor? Now we're getting into some fun stuff. Um, let me check and make sure. My favorite actor, <laughs> you're not going to laugh, is any of the Chris's. Literally, any of the Chris's. Hemsworth, Evans, Pine, Pratt. I love those guys. They are the bomb, in my opinion. Um, and another one of my favorite actors is Tom Cruise. I know that's probably not a very popular opinion, but it is what it is. So it's it's been him for a long time. It will probably I'll probably always have a special place in him. I I don't miss a lot of his movies when they come out in, in the theaters. Um, I've only got one 9.45, so I'm just going to place that one here real quick. So, yeah. Chris's, definitely. Um, and Tom Cruise, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Who is your favorite actress? Jennifer Lawrence. She is my favorite actress. Um... I've liked her ever since I first watched her in um, X-Men First Class. I know that's not her first movie, but yeah. And then she went on to, I think I think she did Hunger Games before that, but um, or maybe it's like right around the same time. But yeah, Hunger Games are some of my favorite movies, and I think she's part of the reason why um, I like them. I liked Hunger Games so much, so... Who is your favorite celebrity? Well, if we're talking celebrity, that would have to be Seth Rollins. Yes, I consider him a celebrity, even though he is a professional wrestler. Oh, no. See, this is why I put a towel down there. Um, yeah, Seth Rollins is my favorite celebrity. So... Do you consider, do you consider that a celebrity? I think I consider that a celebrity. I'm going to call it a celebrity. So, I got a stray. Um, who is your favorite musician? Oh, Backstreet Boys. I mean, come on. Um... <laughs> Backstreet Boys and Bon Jovi. Those are my two favorite act, um, groups. So, uh. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite person in the world? It would have to be my honey, my husband. Because um, he puts up with a lot of stuff for me. And he still loves me. Um, and of course, my children are my, two of my favorite people in the world, too. Um, so. Um, what is your favorite childhood memory? <laughs> this is going to sound funny. One of my, all I can do is say one. One of my favorite childhood memories was the first time that I had ever gone to see a movie in the movie theater. And that movie was Return of the Jedi. Um, I became a huge Star Wars geek right around the time Return of the Jedi came out. And all I wanted to do was go see that movie in a theater. 
and um, so that was the first movie that I can remember ever going to see in a theater. So that was to me a really great childhood memory. So. What is your favorite color? Uh, I've got three actually. Um, pink, purple, and black. Those are my favorite colors. Anytime I can get a hold of something that are that is those colors, I am a happy camper. So, I think she's coming along great. Okay. What is your favorite drink? <sighs> my favorite drink is a drink I can't drink. <laughs> um, my favorite drink is Cherry Coke Zero. Um, it's not good for me, but it is my favorite drink. Um, next to that is some tea with, um, stevia in it, which is what I drink now. Um, other than that, I drink water. So, water's no fun, in my opinion. It's just, meh, meh, you know. So. Uh, what is your favorite fairy tale? Alice in Wonderland is my favorite fairy tale. And if you could see my stash, you would believe that. Because I have quite a few pictures from Alice in Wonderland. Um, next to Alice is Snow White. Again, I got quite a few for Snow White as well. Um, so, Alice and Snow White. Uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, Mexican. We have a restaurant here um, in Northwest Arkansas called Abuelos, um, and they serve the best cheese, beef and chimichi, beef and cheese, chimichanga, chimichanga, chimichanga or chinga. Anyway, it's still good. It's 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 my favorite thing that I eat when I go. It's probably the only thing I eat when I go there. Um, sometimes I'll get the grande burrito, but mostly it's the chimichanga. So, Mexican is my favorite food. Taco salad, tacos, burritos, um, almost anything that has anything to do with Mexican, I like. So, growing up, it was hamburgers because we didn't have very much, very much Mexican when I was growing up. But growing up, it was hamburgers. So. What is your favorite holiday destination? Um, don't have one. Um, <laughs> um, I guess um, we always I always go to my sister's for Christmas, so I guess that would count. And we go to Christmas at my sister's. Um, Thanksgiving at my husband's parents. Um. Other than that, every holiday is just a regular day. And I missed one. A star. Which is like the third color I placed down here. Um, so. 
I don't travel very much. Yeah. We're not traveling people. I can name on one hand how many states that I've ever traveled to. So. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Give me a bowl of mint chocolate chip ice cream and I'm a happy camper. Um, I haven't had any in a long time. <laughs> It's not very conducive to um, losing weight and being type 2 diabetic. So, yeah. But that's my favorite. One thing that annoys me is when I pick up a diamond and it just falls right off my pen and then it turns upside down so it's not as easy to pick up. I know you can flip it over and everything but you know it's so much easier when they're already right side up. <laughs> Need more arrows. Arrows, arrows. I don't see any at the moment. Uh, what is your favorite music genre? <sighs> well, it depends on what time of the what time of my life we're referring to <laughs> right now I listen to a lot of um, classic country um, and older pop music I am a big fan of the 80s music I am a big fan of um, hair metal bands from the 80s um, but right now I listen to, I listen to a little bit of rock, um, listen to a lot, like I said, a lot of country classic. So if I'm not listening to Backstreet Boys, I'm usually listening to the country station on the radio. So, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite physical activity? Um... Probably outside walking Ray Ray. Um, I enjoy the time that I get to spend with her. Um, so that's always fun. Sometimes she can be a little exasperating because she would want to stay out longer than I would want to, especially when it's cold outside like it has been. Um, sometimes I'm just like, Okie dokie, Ray Ray, you can come inside now. Yeah, but um, but I do um, I do ride the bike, um, exercise bike, twenty five minutes a day. That's not my favorite physical activity, but it feels like I'm actually doing something healthy. We work out um, six days a week um, here at home, um, so. I'm getting physical activity, just probably not as much as I should, but it's helping. All of those. Okay, you've already done those. Go the same way. I say, is that like a coral color? Okay. Wow, I'm already been like 45 minutes in. Um, uh, let's 
let's see. Uh, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, live well, laugh often, love much. Um, I have a, um, a wall decal in our bedroom with that saying. Um, so, I don't know where it came from, but at the first time I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, definitely. That one's a good one. Uh, what is your favorite snack? Um, well, it depends on what category. If it's a category of sweets, I would have to say um, Reese's Sticks. Um, those are delicious. Can't have any, but they're still delicious. Um, if we're talking a little bit more healthier, um, I'd have to say pecans. I like to eat pecans. Um, those are always, I try to eat a few in the evening after dinner. Kind of help stave off my hunger for the next day. Because we do a fasting diet where I don't eat until dinner time. So, and having pecans helps out with that. Uh, any more? Any more? Any more? Um, I'll do it with more than that. But looks like I got it. Um, what is your favorite song? Believe it or not, my favorite song is a song from the early 80s. Um, it is called um, Break My Stride from Matthew Wilder. And every time it comes on the radio, I'm like, it, it just makes me happy whenever I hear it. Um, that is my... Um, for some reason, that's just my ultimate favorite song. I don't know why that song just resonated with me and it's still resonating with me all these years later. But yeah, other than that, just about anything, the Backstreet Boys and Bon Jovi sings, my favorite. So they can't go wrong in my opinion. Um, what is your favorite sport? Uh, professional wrestling. I know it's not a sport, but um, it's what I enjoy watching. I've been watching it since I was about 12 years old. Um, old habits die hard, so it's hard to not watch it. So, I work with this color now. Got quite a few for this color, so. Um, what is your favorite time of the day? Oh my goodness gracious me. I saw one fly over here. Where'd he go? Oh, there's two on the canvas here. Well, you know what? I will just pick you up and place you where you need to go. How's that? Gonna use a spoon because that just made a mess. Okay. Uh, favorite time of day is morning time. Um, either morning or late evening. Um, so afternoon, I wouldn't say because I'm so tired in the afternoon. So I don't feel like I get anything accomplished. So. Mid, mid morning or um in the evening so what is your favorite type of clothing uh jeans and a t-shirt i am pretty plain um 
especially if that t-shirt is a wrestling t-shirt. I do own quite a few um, wrestling t-shirts. So, I won't be able to wear them to work when I start work, but that's all right. Uh, what is your favorite way to pass time? <laughs> As if you have to ask. Um, diamond painting. Um, playing World of Warcraft with my husband. Um, we try to put in a couple of hours every weekend. Um, two or three times. Um, together. Um, playing with my puppy. And she's not really a puppy anymore. She is three years old, so but I still call her my puppy. Um, yeah, just diamond painting, playing WoW, hanging with the family. Um, that's a great way to pass the time, in my opinion. What is the name of your favorite restaurant? Well, I've already mentioned it earlier. It is Abuelos. Um, again, it is a Mexican restaurant. We have the servers there. They can almost pretty much tell us what we're going to order. Um, we don't go there as often as we used to, um, just because it is not really conducive to our um, diet that we're on. But when we do go, we enjoy it. Um, it's a place that we usually go to when we go see a movie on a Friday night. Although tomorrow we're going to go see Captain Marvel. Um, which you'll probably see this when you see this. It'll be tonight. Um, and we're going to go to a steakhouse beforehand. So, should be a little date night. I know, taking our son with us, but that's all right. I still consider it a date night. Okay. Number 50. What is your all-time favorite town or city and why? <sighs> I really don't have one. Um, I mean, Gentry, I guess, or Springtown, which is the little town that we live in. Um, just because I live here, you know. I, like I said, I don't, we don't go anywhere. We don't get to, we don't travel. Um, so, it is, I'm a very um, big homebody. I stay home um, quite a bit. So, I see we're looking at almost an hour now. So, I think that... Um, 50 questions is is good for now. Um, I do want to try to finish this up tonight. So what I'll do is that I will go ahead and complete this in um, off camera, at least this section, and then we will come back tomorrow and get started on the next section. I said my goal is to get this completed by the end of the week um, before I start my new job. So, but for now, um, if you aren't subscribed, please do so. Um, re click the bell so that way you'll know when I upload a new video. Um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, then don't give me a thumbs down. But if you do, please let me know why. Um, so, it will always 
make me feel better to know what I'm doing wrong and what I can do better. And um, so, but anyway, I would just like to say good night. Have a good evening, have a good day and be safe. Don't text and drive um, and all that other kind of politically free stuff. I'm not very political, I don't know why I'm saying that. Just be safe, don't text and drive. Um, I lost my drill, where'd it go? <laughs> is this it? Nope. Uh, oh, there it is. And then I lost it again. Okay, our drills are playing jumping beans. All right, okay, now I'm going. All right, have a good night. Bye.